Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's another Friday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, and we're left wondering still what's going to be our promo between the end of Foot Captains and the start of Team of the Season. We've been talking about it the past couple days, what we might expect to see, and we have leaks telling us that it is going to end up being that Team of the Season warm-up series. So that is the promo we are expecting today based off of the leaks and we're going to take a look at those here in a second and talk about some of the things that we've mentioned in previous videos just again talk about what this promo could be bringing us today from a very high level and also there's a couple interesting twists with more road to the final cards being leaked uh, as some content during this next week kind of filler right again we're just in a filler week is what it looks like it's going to be with ea releasing a lot of sbcs and objectives to save up packs uh for the start of team this season which will be one week from today. So I want to take a look at that. It's also a big day for Team of the Season in regards to the voting because we will be seeing Team of the Season voting today for the Premier League. So guys like Cristiano Ronaldo, Hyun Min Sun, they need your vote to get into the Premier League starting 11 for Prem Tots. We have all the nominees leaked for that as well. I want to take a look at that and talk through why there's some interesting aspects of that voting and no Chelsea players or included. And then we also have to talk about market, right? Because this weekend's really, really big for a lot of people that are looking to invest and buy cards for their teams. A lot of people, myself included, are looking for some price drops. And I think what you're going to have to be watching for this weekend is the cards that you want to buy. You're going to have to be uh, scouting them out at, at all different times during this weekend. And it really is going to depend upon the content that we see on this game, the SBCs that EA release, how expensive they make them, and the other content that comes out, since it seems like there's not going to be cards in packs, it really seems like this promo is going to be centralized around just the SBCs and the objectives. We're going to have to keep watch for some of these price drops as people maybe see loading screens, maybe see information in game about team of the season. Because I also think that with a TOTS warm up being showcased here on the front screen, you would see a little bit of panic from casuals that didn't even know TOTS was like right around the corner. So we'll talk about all those things and more in today's video. So if you're excited for team of the season and you're ready for warm-up series to stack some packs, make sure to thumbs up the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's look at the leaks, right? We don't have a loading screen. That's the first thing, obviously, at least right now, when I'm logging into foot, I see no loading screen, which is no, you know, 100% confirmation, but day before a promo would come out it makes sense we believe these leaks basically to be true we take it with a little bit of grain of salt of course but next week we should see tots warm-up series and again i'm guessing it would start today on friday with foot captains ending he says it includes daily spcs upgrade spcs and objectives for a chance to earn and save for team of the season uh, earn packs and save for team of the season the exact same thing we talked about in the past two days um just like the warm-up series heading into team of the year. So that 85 plus pack, I want to look through these pack codes really quick, just again to show you guys um, that the packs have been renamed a little bit. There's an 85 times five. And if you're like, Nate, what in the world does this e-figs mean? It basically just means the top five league leagues, right? England, France, Italy, Germany, and Spain, right? The leagues that are represented by those five countries, that is e-figs. They've done this before in previous years around team of the season. Uh, and so there's an 85 times three, there's an 83 times, sorry, there's an 83 times five and 85 times five. And there is also um, an 80 plus times two. And then if you didn't see from earlier in the, in the week, there are leagues for an 81 times 11 per league. So uh, top five leagues, uh, 81 times 11. Those are all packs that we would expect to be dropped during uh, this next week of TOTS warm-up series. So that's kind of the big info related to TOTS warm-up series today. Now there's a little bit of a twist. We didn't talk about this before, but this is a leak for something that might be happening um, as a part of warm-up series. More road to the final SBCs. Now you notice here that he says SBCs, nothing to do with cards and packs. He says, not sure if we will have new road to the finals and packs. I would 100% doubt that. Um, again, if this promo is all about saving up packs and saving up stuff for the team of the season promo that is going to be coming out soon, I would find it very hard to believe that EA would put anything back into packs 
uh, this weekend because the focus is going to be solely on the SBCs. It's going to be focused on the objectives and focused on those types of items and those, that sort of grind in the game and not so much about the cards that are in packs. So, you know, maybe we'll finally get a Villarreal Champions League Road to the Final card. We don't have any Villarreal items that are still live. I know we have Dan Juma. He's not live anymore, but it sounds like EA is going to release a couple more SBCs to kind of commemorate getting towards the end of that Road to the Final promo. As long as they release cards that have, you know, nice ratings, nice boosts, then we'll be pretty happy with that. That could be some cool content. I would imagine that the Europa League and the Conference League would also get shown some love for the players and teams that are still live in those European competitions. So that's going to be a part of Tots warm-up series. And we don't have a card design for this. Actually, we might. That might be false. And I don't know if it's in the... Uh, in the transfer market search though, but the end of an era cards, right? Like a lot of us did the Defoe SBC that was last week. Again, we still might see some more end of an era content. Guys like Aguero as the headliner, Akin Fenua and Musa Dembele, the former Spurs player. Those are all end of an era cards that have been leaked in some capacity. Again, that could be a part of the Worm Up Series promo as well. But like, like you've been hearing and like we've been talking about, it's all about doing SBCs to save up packs for team of the season i imagine they would drop these cards or the packs via sbcs i would imagine like you know even like you just do an sbc for a pack normally like like an 82 or an 86 times two that we have had this week i would imagine or an 85 plus player pick they're going to be like hey turn in an 83 or an 84 rated squad for an 85 times five e-figs pack or you know do this xyz objective to get yourself an 81 times 11 pack for whatever league that it's going to be so a lot of these are expiring a lot of the foot captains content is expiring and then of course it will be replaced by the foot war or the tots warm-up series stuff happening today on friday so definitely watch out for that that's going to be the biggest piece of content today it's not going to be that crazy of a content day in general though, right? Again, you think about no cards and packs. It's mostly just an SBC based promo. You're probably going to have some cards on the market. Um, moving a little bit today, the market's been really stagnant, right? That's just the best way to describe it is stagnant, right? Uh, these cards just have not been moving too much. I traded with a couple of icons today um, because the captain's cards have gotten kind of low. And I know a lot of you guys have been buying into foot captains as well, right before they leave packs, because a lot of these cards have just dropped down with the supply that we had yesterday. Um, and still there's a decent amount of people who don't want to buy cards at the moment, right? Marcelo was down a bit. Um, Busquets is the one that's dropped a lot. Payet is the one that's dropped a lot as well. I bought some of the fodder cards, um, just like stocked a couple in the club. I know people were investing in Coleman, Handanovic, Jose Fonte, um, Tadic, Trimmel. You know, people have been buying in these cards and investing in some of them because they're basically some of the cheapest fodder on the game right now. And with this promo coming that is solely based on SBCs, like we talked about in yesterday's video, you guys remember 84s were like 6,000 coins when they dropped the team of the year warm-up series. I think that even though these 84s are inflated a bit, they're probably going to go a little bit higher. I don't know if they're going to drop today. I doubt that they would. Maybe a bit this morning with people opening some foot champs rewards last second as they are opening while foot captains are still in packs. Um, but I think that fodder, especially on the higher tier end, has a lot of upside. Now, I did a, a club stock today, right? And we, usually when I do a club stock, I go through this entire list here. And since a lot of these cards are down, like I bought a Trimble at 25, I bought a Cruise at 25. Some of these guys were at like 24, 750 earlier for the 88s. So I kind of just bought one of these and bought all of like one of all these cards, put it in the club for the 88s, the 89s, and the 90s. That's just basically called a club stock, right? Because I think these cards are low enough. I mean, you look at Harry Kane being 42,000 coins. If this SBC promo is, or if this promo is going to be all about SBCs, then you would expect these cards to rise back up a little bit. Now, I'm not expecting, you know, 90 rated to go to 60K in one week. I mean, if they released an Icon Moments player pick SBC or something like that later on this week, I could see that those cards are going that high if the value is there. Um, but I think that this fodder right now, if you're going to buy into it, you would be buying it now and then you'd be selling it into the week next week. It's just going to be a short hold, not for too long. Or if you've already invested in fodder, let's say you bought 84s at 3k last week and you haven't sold great just keep holding on to them sell them towards the middle to end of this upcoming week before we head into tots and these cards are 100 going to be higher i think fodder rises this week in general just because it's an sbc based promo and that's just the fact right again 
The only thing today that would make for supply on the market would be if EA Sports were to put old cards back into packs. If they were to do, you know, like captains back in packs or birthdays, future stars, anything crazy like that, like foot player days like, I really doubt they would. That would be the only thing today that I would imagine that would bring any sort of supply to the market. And I don't think that EA is gonna do anything like that one week before the promo, because what they want us to be focused on are those SBCs to save up those packs before team of the season. So that's the major, major part of the content that we'll be looking at today. Now let's talk about the other piece of content. This is not in the game um, unless we have like a loading screen for it, but Premier League Tots official vote is gonna be starting today as well. And of course, as we have leaks for everything in this game, we have leaks for the nominees for Premier League Tots. And I gotta talk about this a bit because this is pretty controversial. Again, as you're gonna, as you look through, and a lot of you guys may already know this, we don't have any Chelsea cards in this voting. EA has pulled all Chelsea cards out of this. So there's not gonna be any new Chelsea special items during team of the season is what that really seems like. And I think it's a bummer. Um, I think that it's silly. I wish that it uh, was not this way, but it is uh, because of all the political tensions that are going on right now with the owner of Chelsea and stuff like that. Um, and you know, this probably goes way up the ladder at EA Sports and it includes a lot of stuff that we don't even know about. So I'm not trying to get myself involved too deep with this. I'm just coming in from a FIFA player's perspective, not even a Chelsea fan. Just wishing that we would have a team of the season Conte, team of the season Rudiger, maybe another card or two. Uh, because as you look through here, there's a lot of Liverpool and Manchester City cards, which of course, you know, is deserved because they're top two in the table. But Chelsea's sitting right there at third, and I think they deserve some names as a part of team of the season voting as well. So I feel for you if you're a Chelsea fan, um, you know, you're not going to see any of these cards from your team as a part of this promo. That's that's the biggest bummer out of all this, if we're being completely honest. Uh, just not being able to see those cards in the game. But these are the official nominees that we will have to vote on today. The voting will open today. Now, I remember um, that the voting was a bit delayed when they released Community Tots. It was at least 15, 20, maybe even like 30 minutes delayed before the webpage actually opened up. So the same place where you voted for Community Tots, you'll vote for these Premier League dudes. Um, and we're going to vote on the starting 11. This was also leaked uh, that we are going to only vote the starting 11 and then EA will be choosing the bench or the reserves, however many players they're going to end up putting into packs, which I would imagine would be a full starting 11 plus a bench. So plus a couple more players, four or five more, depending on what they want to do with that. Um, so that, of course, leaves EA some room to have their own little bit of influence if they want to. Uh, but again, it's going to be hard to vote, right? I would love to see Son, Foden, Ronaldo, Sterling, Kane, like all of these guys. I would love to see them all get team of the season cards. Um, so again, if you want to cast your vote, that link, I'll put a link to the TOTS webpage in the description, but this will not be live until after 6 p.m. I'm guessing today on, on Friday. I'm guessing it's going to be live after 6 p.m. Uh, but these are all the leaked nominees. So if you were looking through those while we were clicking through, those are the cards you will have to vote on today. And again, um, like we just mentioned, it is going to be voting for the starting 11 only. And then EA will fill in the reserves with after the uh, votes are tallied with what we know about that. So that's kind of all the content we're expecting to see. It's probably not, like I said, it's not going to be that big of a content day today on the game. It's probably going to feel a bit stale. Um, and it, it actually comes at a really great time for me because I'm not going to be able to stream today. Busy weekend coming up with Mrs. TFA. So if you're looking for the Twitch live stream today, you won't find me there. We'll be back on Sunday. Don't worry. But I'm just going to be very curious to see what kind of packs EA dropped for us to save up because those the pack code that we've been looking at all week, 81 times 11 per top five league, 85 times five, 83 uh, times five as well. That's pretty exciting stuff. So as long as they don't make those too expensive, maybe a play is to craft some last minute 81 plus player picks and either save them for team this season or actually open some of them up early today on Friday before the captains go out of packs and just stock up on 82, 83, 84s. And that might not even be a bad deal, uh, idea. Like right now, going out on the market and even buying up some 84 rated cards. Like, yes, like I mentioned, I know they're already a thousand coins up in price, but with all these SBCs that are going to be out, people are going to sp spend the big bucks on fodder this week to get cards in their club to get the SBCs done. So, you know, 84 is even at 4,000 coins you know, they might be 7k at the end of the week. And then, you know, at the end of the week, you'll get, be like, man, why did I not buy some fodder? So maybe just do a bit of a club stock on the lower tier stuff too, just so that you can do 
those pack SBCs throughout this next week at a little bit cheaper of a threshold of cost. Uh, that is one thing to kind of keep an eye out for as well. Now, one thing I'm going to talk about just really fast at the end of today's video is a really big leak from yesterday, and that is new icon swap pack code. Now, we're going to talk about this later on in the weekend for sure and dive into it a little bit more as we get more information. But this really makes me think that if they're adding the pack code in yesterday on a Thursday, it's in the game that we might be having icon swaps as soon as this Monday, which seems very early to me, but that would be honestly the perfect storm. If you think about it, this week of no content, no cards and packs, just some SBCs every day to stack up packs for team of the season. And these packs look pretty nuts for, for icon swaps, right? But if we have icon swaps that get released on Monday as well, and that's just an additional thing to grind this next week to get an 84 times 20 and 85 times 20, a 94 plus guaranteed icon moments pack that's crazy so that would be one thing to just keep in mind that we have those packs upcoming don't know when the actual release date is going to be but just keep that in mind that it is going to be pretty soon maybe as soon as monday we'll look for some more leaks more information th during this weekend uh for that sort of stuff so again pretty big day of content today just because the fact it's tots related right that's where the hype is with the promo today again like i said watch the meta market if there is panic selling and if there's cards that do drop uh like just watch these popular meta cards on their graphs like i traded a desai i bought them at 689 i just sold them at 760 right there's going to be these cards whether they're icons out of pack specials that are going to have fluctuations today on friday i bought this del Piero at 600 um i bought these bales at 270 i thought that was decently cheap he's up to like 285 at the moment schweinsteiger i bought at 545 pogba you know still trying to sell a few of these cards i mean i think you're going to be able to trade through this market through the weekend because there's also a lot of people that are looking to buy and we're going to talk about that a little bit more in tomorrow's video is kind of watching the low prices this weekend. And we'll get a kind of a sense of how the content looks today on Friday and how it might impact the market. Because if EA disappoints with content today, then that's not looking good for some panic to happen throughout the game, you know, maybe Saturday and Sunday. So we're gonna be closely watching the market this weekend. And a lot of you guys wanna buy cards for your teams and prices are still low, but maybe prices have started to rebound back a little bit on some cards. I was watching this team of the year, Messi, today. He's kind of in that boat where he is still low. Messi was around 1.8 mil, but I believe right now he is back under 1.8 and is in the 1.7. I saw 175, 178. So, you know, a couple hours of panic selling, this guy might get undercuts back down to like 1.72, and then boom, there's a great buy for your team. So, we're going to be watching that stuff very closely this weekend, too, because I know that matters to a lot of you guys. But it is a promo Friday. And it's going to be a Friday, not with, it's, it's like a halfway promo. We'll call it that, right? It's like a halfway promo today. So if you're excited for team of the season, warm up to stack some packs before team of the season. Make sure to thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. But have yourselves a great Friday. Enjoy the brand new promo. I'll be tweeting. Make sure you check the Twitter links down below. And we'll talk about stuff, conversate over there just a little bit in the time that I do have. So again, enjoy the weekend. Happy Friday. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.